Hawaiians 500 years ago. They were able to produce enough food to sustain almost the same size population that we have today, even with the most minimal impact on their natural surroundings. Scientifically, we're totally trying to catch up with our ancestors. The word malama often just translates to taking care, but it also translates to the light. When you malama a place, you get to see the true light of that space. This is a lo'i, a taro patch. Provides the main staple of Hawaiians, which is kalo or taro. It's not just plant and harvest. It's to create an ecosystem feeding the animals and plants in order to feed ourselves. but we actually have to recreate Hawaii today because so much of it has been lost. Here at our nursery, we actually grow uh, over 160 different species of native Hawaiian plants, including about 65 varieties of kalo. Preservation of species is preserving our culture. It's actually a hibiscus tree. There are two plants left in the wild. What? That's it. Sustainable agriculture isn't just being an organic farmer and you know focusing on one particular crop. You have to put back and you have to give back. Thanks, boss. No worries. It's just the simple coming to a farm, understanding the history of that space, putting that energy in for that day, and the joys of food at the end of it. Chef. Kia aloha Domingo, Nui Kia aloha. Preparing a kalo poke dish. So this is the same type that we harvested today. Being able to even sample a little bit of the work that you put in today. Ah, look at that thing. Oh man, even I'm excited. Visiting a place, taking care of that place, making that place better than how it was before you got there. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Learn how you can malama Hawaii at gohawaii.com slash malama.